Regardless of whatever you are seasoned player or not, you have probably heard of Contra, especially the legendary one from the Nintendo Entertainment System, released back in 1987. Whoa, well, that's 37 years ago now. Well, I don't mean in simple terms, the spiritual successor to the old series. And now I'm going to explain what it's all about. According to the developers Iron Meat, is described as a retro arcade action game where you face off against hordes of mutated enemies infected by strange meat biomass from space. Now, there is not a ton of deep, narrative heavy storytelling here. The game shows us the basic of what's happened in a few cutscenes before latching you into the action. And the plot goes something like this. On base on the moon, scientists were experimenting with some strange meat like biomass. Sounds like a great idea, right? Unsurprisingly, the experiment went horribly wrong, breaking out and spreading around the base, infecting and consuming everything in its path. The biomass is hungry and works kind of like alien creature from the thing. It doesn't care if it merges with living creatures or inanimate objects, so the base crew, along with weapon equipment, started to mutate in all sorts of freaky ways. Thank godness the nightmare only happened on the moon, right? Can you imagine if this fast-spreading murderous meat landed on Earth, where even your toaster could become alive and tries to kill you? Well, unfortunately, the moon base had a massive teleporter connecting the moon to Earth. So yeah, Iron Meat is set in a post-apocalyptic world. There are more than few similarities between the old Contra games and Iron Meat, but that's to be expected since the new title uses the basic foundation that Contra laid out. You've got similar movement and the same type of 8 directional aiming. Of course the side-scrolling action and that signature jump and shoot gameplay are here too. But beyond that, the sum weapons, enemies and overall look have their own unique twist. So if you're a fan of Contra and you love how this game is played, you will feel right at home in Iron Meat. It's a different game but still manages to capture that same nostalgic vibe. The first map is going to hit with some serious déjà vu, as its layout and atmosphere are strikingly similar to the first Contra map, just with way more blood and far creeper enemies. In total you've got 9 stages to beat. When you start, you can customize your character look by combining different parts of skins to make a unique design. Then you pick from the available stages, select your difficulty and jump in. The difficulty level really impacts your experience in Iron Meat. Enemies get more aggressive, fire more bullets and you have fewer health points. It's not just a case of enemies having more health like in some other games. You run from left to right and once the camera follows you and hides what's behind, there is no going back. You've got to keep pushing forward until you reach the stage boss. And, well, you know what to do when you get there. Your score throughout the game helps you unlock new skins. There are around 30 of them in total. There is a good variety of enemies, some of which are standard like basic runners, while others are much more unique, fitting the game weird theme. Think mutated cars and other bizarre creations. Quick stop, if you made this far, thanks! My mission on this channel is to introduce you to less known and indie titles, helping to spread the word about cool, smaller projects. If you like what I'm doing here and you want more videos about hidden gems, hit that subscribe button. Alright, back to the video. Just like in original Contra games, Iron Maids give you plenty of weapons to collect along with upgrades that increase your speed or let you shoot in all directions. The shotgun is one of the best weapons covering a wider area, and if you manage to grab two of the same weapon, it gets upgraded, dealing more damage or covering even more space. But if you get hit, you will lose one point of health and one of the weapons you are using, so watch out. Each stage has a unique boss and let me tell you, these things are both horrifying and bizarre. They are often a mix of vehicles and infected meat, turning into monstrous creatures. The developers tried to keep things interesting by giving bosses multiple phases so they are not just repeating the same attack over and over. It's a nice touch and it makes boss fights more dynamic and fun. That said, the bosses aren't too hard. Even the final boss is challenging but manageable. You will need to put your skill to the test but it's definitely doable even for less experienced players. I think that's a good balance letting new players enjoy the game without feeling too overwhelmed. If you got a friend nearby, you can play the entire campaign in local co-op mode. Both players share a set number of lives based on chosen difficulty. Even if one player runs out of health, they can still keep playing by borrowing health from the other player. Just need to hit the button to rejoin. The system is great because it doesn't force both players to lose their health just because one person keeps dying. If he dies. Does. It's especially useful during boss fights when the more experienced player can carry the team without losing all their lives to a newbie. 
As you probably know, I love pixel art and Iron Meat has some really cool visuals. You can see meat veins pulsing on walls, floors and other objects, giving the world a gross but awesome look. The bosses in particular are creative and grotesque. They are a fantastic mix of alien meat and vehicles. That said, I do feel there is more room for improvement in the art style, especially in terms of lightning to add more depth. On the music side, the game's heavy metal soundtracks fits perfectly. It keeps the energy high and the action intense. The guitar riffs go hand in hand with the bloody, fast-paced gameplay. And most importantly, the music isn't disturbing. Plus, the game's short enough that the soundtrack never gets overwhelming. Overall, Iron Meat is a short game, but that's actually one of its strengths. It's replayable, and you can go back to unlock skins on complete challenges to get achievements. I found myself playing the game a few times just to collect more. I wouldn't call Iron Meat a groundbreaking project. It didn't blow me away, and it's not revolutionizing the genre. But it's a solid, well-made game. I didn't encounter any bugs or technical issues, which says a lot about the quality of the project. While I enjoy it, I didn't feel the game wasn't trying to be much different from its Contra-inspired roots. It's fun, but if you are a fan of arcade action shooters and you are looking for something fresh, Iron Meat might not completely satisfy that itch. It's like pasta. There are different kind of pasta, but in the end there's still just pasta, with slightly different shapes and flavors. If you are interested, there is a link in the description provided by the publisher. Since the game runs well and offers full controller support, it's perfect for couch co-op or on the Steam Deck. You can also find it on various platforms and stores. If you want to discover more new or lesser known games and make sure your gaming dollars are worth spent, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bye!